Rab Noakes is a Scottish singer-songwriter. Noakes was born in St Andrews, Fife, Scotland, and brought up in Cooper. He has performed with Lindisfarne, who recorded his songs Turn a Deaf Ear on their first album, Nicely Out of Tune, and Together Forever on their second, Fog on the Time. Barbara Dixon also recorded Turn a Deaf Ear on her album Do Right Woman, on which Noakes also performed. Noakes also sang backing vocals and played guitar on the first solo album by Jerry Rafferty, Can I Have My Money Back?, most notably on Mary Skeffington, a song about Rafferty's mother. After these sessions he became an early member of Steeler's Wheel, although he left them before they recorded their first album. Noakes made his own debut solo recording Do You See the Lights in 1970, with a lineup that included ex-partner Robin McKitt on electric guitar and Scottish jazz bassist Ronnie Ray. This recording included the songs Too Old to Die, Together Forever and Somebody Counts on Me. In May 1972, the British music magazine, NME, reported that Noakes was to appear at the Great Western Express Lincoln Festival on 26 May that year. Other acts to perform in the Giants of Tomorrow marquee included Budgie, Skin Alley, T and Sympathy, John Martin, War Horse, and Nadrolog. One of Noakes's best-known recording, Branch, was released as a single in the summer of 1974 from his album Red Pump Special, which was recorded in Nashville. Tennessee and produced by Elliot Mazur, attracted considerable airplay on BBC Radio 1, but without making the UK singles chart. The album Restless was produced by Terry Melcher at Starling Sounds, based at Tittenhurst Park, Ascot, former home of John Lennon and Yoko Ono, then owned by Ringo Starr. The albums, Rab Noakes and Under the Rain followed, but it was 1994 until Standing Up appeared. Noakes subsequently toured with the Veraflames, containing Pick Withers, Rod Clements, and the harmonicist Fraser Spears. Noakes became the senior producer for music programs on BBC Radio Scotland. He left to create the production company, Neon. In November 2007, his album Unlimited Mileage, again with the Veraflames, was released. In 2012, CDs of Standing Up Again made in 2009 and Just In Case were made available, those albums only having been available to download up until then. In 2015, he released the album I'm Walking Here. It was his 19th solo album and many of the songs tell the story of his working life as a songwriter and performer. It is a double album containing 26 songs. The first set consists of new compositions that show his gift for melody and love of Americana, and include Out of Your Sight, influenced by Buddy Holly, a tribute to a 1920s minstrel singer and a poignant lament for Rafferty. The second album is dominated by interpretations of songs from early Cliff Richard to Garbage and Beck, along with the skiffle standard freight train, on which he was joined by Jimmy McGregor, and a finely sung treatment of the traditional The Two Sisters. Thanks for watching.